story. My story. My story. My story is a place of hope and healing for all people, men, women, veterans, young adults, teenagers, and even children, everyone, regardless of their social status or sexual orientation. It is a place of motivation and inspiration. My story will talk about real life situations and real life stories because no one is immune to stress, depression, anxiety, and other mental health problems. And our stories resonate. Thank you, Grace, once again for allowing me into your space to come back and share your testimony. Hello, everybody. My name is Dora. Last summer in 2023, I got to share my story with Grace Gary. We all have our unique stories, some beautiful and some painful. My life journey has taught me the power of resilience and prayer, which resurrected me out of pain and shame. And now great things have been birthed. All glory to our faithful Father in heaven. From the depressing diagnosis of lupus, the medical treatments and protocols that were ineffective gave life to my journey of becoming a health coach so that I had the tools to heal myself with quality nutrition and a healthy lifestyle. Recently, I have been able to see my dying white blood cells come back into normal range. It is such a blessing to now be able to help others navigate the mess of realizing healthy vibes. Also, out of rejections and cancelling wedding, I am now married to a lovely and godly man and I'm enjoying married life. My message is that no matter what you've been through, there is still hope for your life. So if you don't give up and keep on pushing and praying, God is able to make a way for you to come out of a bad situation. There is still hope for all of us, for when we fall down, we find a way to get back. Thank you. This is Dora again, Dora Manjala. If you remember, she is a holistic health coach, a self-employed holistic health coach, a worshiper, and a God's minister of his word. And she's back here today with us. Welcome again. Thank you again. And thank you so much for staying all this time with us. You're welcome. Yes, we do appreciate it. So, for this segment, we're going to listen from Dora with a word of advice. After what you have gone through, I don't see anyone else who can give us better advice than from you. You know, because everything you have gone through, everything you have told us in the uh, prior episodes, then hearing advice from you, mental health advice is just called for. Thank you. Yes, so today we're going to hear about mental health and this brings me a question that our community, as you know, at this time, we are going through a crisis. Yes. We are going through a crisis, we are losing the young people and I feel like we are also losing the older ones but there is a highlight for the young people and not only losing them to death, yes. we are losing them to other things going on in their life. Yeah. We are losing them to drugs, yes. addiction, yes. and who knows what else. Mm -hmm. So, I would ask you, what do you think is causing all these losses of our young people? What is going on mentally with the, our young in this state, Washington? Giving or keeping this in mind for all of us that is not only here, yeah. I think it's, you know, I don't know who I was telling the other thing. day, yes. we had COVID uh, pandemic, I yes. feel like there's pandemic for the youth yes. in this time. Yes. Yeah, what do you think? So, as I said earlier, we used to think like mental health is someone who's like, who's cuckoo, mm -hmm. someone who's walking without clothes and, yes. you know, these are just the bigger explosions that happen eventually. Yeah. But we all go through mental health in one way or the other. Yes. If we look at our lives, there are so many stressors mm -hmm. that make us to, in, to, 
that bring us state of depression and mm-hmm. anxiety. So when we go through these things, mm-hmm. our mental uh, ability to mm-hmm. function mm-hmm. is affected. Yeah. And what I have seen and what I can say, especially in the moments in this generation, especially for the young people, mm-hmm. the social media has placed a big impact, mm-hmm. putting too much pressure. Mm-hmm. Because most of the time when you look on Facebook, we see people posting things, photos, their lives of perfect Glamour. lives. Glamour. Glamour. Mm-hmm. No one will put in like... Mm-hmm. I've never seen like, oh, I slept hungry mm-hmm. or, you know, yeah, no things way. like those. Mm-hmm. The realities of life, mm-hmm. most of the time, most of the time they're not put out there. Yeah. So we get into that pressure that I have to be a certain way. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. have to look a certain way. Mm-hmm. I have to wear a certain way. Yes. I have to maintain certain status yes. for me to be accepted, you know, yeah. in the community or yeah. in the social media yeah. world. Yeah. So for me, I can say why that is one of the biggest reasons that we, that we are losing yeah. our yeah. society, our youths. Mm. And, that, yeah. and you know, when you say... We are losing them, yet we are waiting for us to see them walking naked on the streets. Yes. I like to coming, know. I like to coming. know that who thinks yes. I'm bad. I really do mm-hmm. like that analogy. Yeah. And even as much as I've been doing and studying mental health, yeah. for my own and researching my story, mm-hmm. I, I have never thought of that. I know it's there. Because yes. we know Madare. Yes. You know we know slums. We yeah. know Washington State. Yes. Hospital. But never thought of it like that. That we we see them when we see them outside. Yes. They kept picking up stuff, yes. eating from the uh, dustbin and whatever. Mm. Then we think they are sick. Yeah. They are sick mm-hmm. in the head. We don't think what else can be going on when somebody is looking perfect like I am looking. It's stuck all good, somewhere. All dressed up, smiling. Yeah. Doing, going yes. through the daily stuff that I go through. Yeah. But I really, you don't know what I'm going through. Yeah. That's a very good thing to raise. Because think yeah. about this thing, Grace. Sometimes mm-hmm. I've heard stories of people. Mm-hmm. I went to work, yet yes. I left my gas on. Why? There was something that was disturbing you, something going on mm-hmm. that you forgot. Yes. To do something that was necessary you know so it starts there with small things Mm -hmm. so i will say that everybody each Mm -hmm. one of us Mm -hmm. are supposed to do a a a a self check Mm -hmm. of our Mm -hmm. mental stability i like that each one of us yes and then one thing to parents we are losing our children Mm -hmm. to work especially in this Mm -hmm. life here the system here Mm-hmm. We just work, 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 want to create money because it is good because we want to create better life mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. our children and yes. we know how difficult life is here. Yes. Money answereth all things. Yes. yes. We cannot pay rent through so prayers. We prayers think. are good. We have to go to work. Yes. But the negative part of it is when too much of work, too much of something is poisonous. Mm-hmm. We are spending much time at work mm-hmm. and then we are not having conversations with our children. Exactly. We, don't, we are not creating that time to step in into their world, mm-hmm. to know what is happening. How mm-hmm. was your day? Mm-hmm. Who are your friends? What are you watching mm-hmm. in that phone? Right. Right, what right. step into their world we yes. need to be their friends without judgment without judging without being harsh you know mm. so that they can open up to us yes. so that you might get to know their friends yes. get into their world yes. know what they are watching the places they are going without you know let us be friends let us create time to have conversations with our children like with our friends with mm-hmm. our neighbors mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. all that people need, even for our neighbors, mm-hmm. it's not money. Mm-hmm. Someone mm-hmm. needs just a listening ear. Yes. I'm going through this and this. Yes. Can we pray? Can you yes. give me a shoulder? So yes. we don't have time. Yes. Not time yes. at And all. I like that. Yes, we can pray. But I also need you to be there for me. Yeah. Don't judge me. Yeah. Listen to me. Yeah. But sometimes that's all we need. Yeah. Sometimes we don't even need the advice no. to tell you what to do. No. I just want to come and cry on your shoulder. That's mm. it. Mm. That's it. Don't tell me anything. Just yeah. let me be there and be. 
Yes. So I feel that's what we have lacked then, especially families, uh, parents to the Very kids, true. right? Yes. Yeah. So what else is causing the hour? So you say social media, you say parents. What else is uh, making our us lose our kids? Drugs and poor decisions with mm -hmm. our connections, mm -hmm. the friends that we choose. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we make decisions that bring us into our own captivity. Mm -hmm. We self-create our own state of mental disorder mm -hmm. by the people that we allow into our world. Mm -hmm. So even that might contribute. And what do you think is making them do that? Leave home and go look for those those things they think they are okay for them, yeah. yet not. What would you think could be that? As I said earlier, maybe they are looking for attention, mm -hmm. which they are not getting uh, from, from parents mm -hmm. or from the guidance. Yes. They are also, sometimes it's just being curious. Yeah. I want to experiment this and see how it, how it does this uh, alcohol or yeah. drug taking. Yeah. yeah. How does it make someone feel, you know? Mm -hmm. So we want to, out of curiosity, yeah. we want to experience those things. I see. And one thing I would like also to mention, mm -hmm. especially in our community, there mm -hmm. is the thing that we call gossip. Mm -hmm. When someone mm -hmm. shares with me, then in the name of prayer, let us pray for this sister so-and-so, brother, so they are going through ABC. Mm -hmm. So you start spreading what they had told you confidentially. You start sharing it. You start blowing trumpet. Mm -hmm. So people are scared actually to share their personal, their struggles with others. True. So, so true. Very true. Oh my gosh. And I, I'm glad you brought that part about prayer, which I mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. Because the other day I was talking with somebody and she's in the interview, one of the interviews. Yeah, maybe you have seen it or you'll see it later. <coughs> and and they, they, they're very much into church and everything. Yeah. But when we make it, and that's the second person actually I've heard from. When we make it all about God and as good as it is, yeah. then you just say, yes, I want you to pray for me. But I was want you also to listen to me yeah so this person said it's not all about prayer yeah you know when they come to church this yeah. youth we are making them run away yeah because they'll come this kid came to the mother told them what they're feeling in there i'll pray mm -hmm. for you i'll pray for you yeah. eventually nothing was happening no changes yeah so they left and started yeah. doing whatever they were yeah, going to do to, to feel better going to those friends that are not, not okay. sure that to cry on. Mm -hmm. yeah. so it's as much as we are spiritual, mm. we believe in God. Yeah. We also have real life real happening. Life. Yes. That I need somebody like you, yeah. someone who's needs their mother. Someone. It's not all us about work. Yeah. That money is not. You know, coming from where we came from, yeah. we value that the yes. money part. Yeah. And even like because we did not have those things growing up, how yeah. I wish my mom would give me have the fridge within you have a fridge but have food there you're choosing what to eat you don't even know what to eat yeah. so here when we come here that's what we want for our kids true but what we didn't have yeah. we want to get them but that's not all oh, it's not all they want us yeah we need to be there for them mm -hmm. so thank you for bringing that up about a prayer and that reminded me about prayer and being in real life yeah real life. Mm -hmm. maybe you can tell us more about that Prayer is prayer everything. Or what 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 will you tell if a youth comes and tells you, I'm going through this and this? Yes, I'll pray for you. What else? I would I would try and give them advice from God's word. What yes. does the Bible say? Because the Bible has all the answers. Right. The Bible is the final and has the truth. Mm -hmm. And uh, I will not leave them there. Mm -hmm just with the bible i will try to we will try and create accountability journey mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where they are accountable mm -hmm. maybe to me or to someone else yes so that we make sure that they are path you know mm -hmm. and we have to be there for them without judging mm -hmm. that even when they fail or yes. fall back yeah they can still come back to us mm -hmm. or they can still go to god right. and say just like the prodigal son yeah yes 
after squandering all the money and mm-hmm. all the foolishness he did mm-hmm. he came back to his senses and yeah. he said i'm going back to my dad yes. that is humility mm-hmm. and the dad without judging accepted mm-hmm. the yes. dad saw him by far mm-hmm. and he recognized that is my son mm-hmm. i will give him the best mm-hmm. it doesn't matter yeah. They did not judge them what they went not they did out there he embraced he threw, threw a very big party clothed him in the best clothes you know mm-hmm. we have to embrace them they have to feel safe with us like yeah that even if you're wrong you can still come back yes i yeah. really do like that. you can still go back to god mm. Yes. He does not judge us. Yes. Yeah. Let's come back and continue this conversation. It's it's such an enlightenment yes. that we have le- we have let our kids go. Mm-hmm. But even though they have left us, we still have to have our let's not ever give up on them. No. The prodigal sons that never give up on him. No. So I my prayer is that we have to have our hearts open yeah. for our children even if they have gone astray. Yes. Welcome back. We are having a great session here with Dora Mwanjala about uh, mental health. We're talking about mental health and we just saw uh, what is affecting the youth of this day. What are some of the things that are making us lose them? And uh, so uh, coming back to mental health. Tell us how do we recognize the okay I'm not just lazy I'm not just not getting out of bed how do I know okay this is not just that something deeper is going on with me or my friend or my child so usually mental health or mental disorder will throw you into a moment of depression and anxiety so most of the time like what has happened to me in a uh, um uh most of the time mm-hmm. and i get into a state of depression not most of the time but sometime when mm-hmm. i get into a state of depression mm-hmm. i start with my mental mind check mm-hmm. what am i thinking mm-hmm. that is making me feel depressed yeah that is making my mood to change or being in a state of fear mm-hmm. and hopelessness mm-hmm. so the things are to look out are st- we begin with our thoughts what am i thinking yes. that is triggering mm-hmm. my lack of sleep because mm-hmm. lack of sleep is one of the mm-hmm. things to watch out yeah feeling of sadness yeah anxious and empty mm-hmm. loss of interest in pleasure of the activities that we once enjoyed mm-hmm. uh changes in mood changes in appetite mm-hmm. and changes in appetite might be you're eating too much mm-hmm. or you're eating too less mm-hmm. sometimes that can happen mm-hmm. trouble sleeping or too much sleep also mm-hmm. difficult thinking or making proper decisions mm-hmm. uh we have also restlessness mm-hmm. feeling worthless or guilty thoughts of death or suicide mm. over eating we have spoken about that mm-hmm. and physical symptoms are like trouble breathing mm-hmm. sweating mm-hmm. racing heart or mansultation mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. those are the things that we are to look out mm-hmm. or also if someone else that yeah. is close to us is going through these things mm-hmm. it is a call for help yes yeah they need help or we need help okay that's good that's good and that's the time you need to really look for that help yes you know so because if it's becoming a distraction in your life right at yeah, that moment especially if it, if something is prolonged mm-hmm. then there is triggers mm-hmm. there is something that is more serious and a lining issue so you need to deal with the roots of it mm-hmm. yeah okay mm-hmm. so what what else do you have for us tell us more so The Bible says there is nothing new under the sun. In the Bible we had people who had went through mental instability. Mm-hmm. They went through a series of depression and anxiety. Mm-hmm. I came through three people in the Bible and I will just like to share who these three people were yes, that sure. went through a sure. moment of pain sure. and depression. Mm-hmm. And one of them is David. You can find the story of David from 1 Samuel chapter 16 to 
Second Samuel also has the story of David and 1 Kings chapter 1 from verse 2 to 10. So David is one of the most well-known biblical figures who has life story that transcends time. Mm -hmm. He was a man who saw God take him from the valley with the sheep mm -hmm. as a shepherd mm -hmm. to the grandest place as a king of Israel. Mm -hmm. He received special anointing as a public figure. He was powerful, courageous, yet he had shortcomings which mm -hmm. left him in a place of a mental turmoil and distress mm -hmm. because sometimes he made weird decisions. Yes. Yeah. He experienced anxiety when he had to flee from King Saul who constantly wanted to kill him. Mm. Psalms 58, mm -hmm. sorry, Psalms 59 verse 4 says, mm. I have done no wrong, yet they are ready to attack me. And he's calling out to God, mm. Arise to help me. Look on my plight. Mm. This is one of the strength that David had. Mm -hmm. In time of anxiety and distress, he always called out to God because yeah. God is our only present help in time of need. Right. 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 Another incident that threw David into depression, anxiety, and into mental instability was after Amalekites destroyed Ziklag. Mm -hmm. David was overcome with sadness because the men wanted to stone him. And that is in 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse 6. Mm -hmm. David also was in great distress when the prophet Nathan told him his son with Bathsheba would die, mm -hmm. but will not recover. Mm -hmm. So 2 Samuel 20, 12, 17 says, The elders of the household stood beside him to get him up from the ground, but he refused to eat. This was a result of his greatest sin of conspiring to kill Bathsheba's husband in the battlefield and then taking her as his wife and getting her pregnant. So we see David also in the Bible went through that moment of distress and anxiety. So these are not unfamiliar mm. things that you are facing today. Yeah, that's but very interesting. The second person I will talk about is Job. <coughs> In the book of Job, from verse 1 to 42, it's Job's story. A man who feared God and shunned evil. The, um, Job had no sin. He feared God. He was a prominent and wealthy gentile. He had all, what, well, all he wanted in life, camels, wealth, riches, land, mm -hmm. servants, mm -hmm. and above all, Job feared God. He went through a test of time where everything was taken away from him. He had series of serious strategic events. The family, the people, and the things he cherished were all destroyed, mm -hmm. yet our job never cursed God, mm -hmm. but endured suffering that caused him de depressive mental distress. Mm -hmm. In one day, Job received news that his sons and daughters, sheep, servants, camels, were all killed or taken off. Beside that, Satan went after his uh, body, mm -hmm. afflicted him with sores from head to feet. Job was sent into a depressed mood that caused him not to speak for seven days and seven nights. Mm. Wow. Mm -mm. He even cursed the day he was born mm. because he was in deep pain and anguish. Yeah. He was surrounded by three friends who did not console him enough but challenged him. Mm -hmm. So we need the right people yeah. when we are going through difficult situations yeah. to speak the right things who will not judge us. Right. Just to be there with us and yeah. as you said, we don't have to say anything. Yeah. Just yeah. to be with them in that moment. Mm -hmm. So, have you ever went through a difficult situation and had your friends who talked behind your back? Mm -hmm. Job also went through that. Oh high level of depression, mm -hmm. magnitude of grief, and sudden anxiety about not being able to find God. Eventually, we see God restoring Job yes. in the final chapters. And Job's story did not end in pain and anguish, mm -hmm. loss or shame. He had victory. Yes, God did. restored him, everything yes, that he had did. lost. Yes, indeed. Amen, amen. That reminds me of my favorite Bible verse. Yeah. It's Job. Job 30 oh. verse 5. Uh -huh. And my husband's name is Job. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a 
connect. I know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It talks about joy comes in the morning. Oh wow! And so my story is based on that. Yeah. Yes, you might have a very hard night. Yes, but joy, joy always comes. comes in the morning. So I like that you brought that up, and even who would have thought the Bible had people who yes. got mental issues? Mm -hmm. Powerful. Very, very interesting. We are not alone. Yes. Yes. Wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. The last person I want to talk about is Jesus. Yes. We, most of us, we know about Jesus. Jesus also went through mental issues. Oh, yeah. Yes. Jesus okay. is the savior of the world, yes. a miracle child born to a virgin woman. Mm -hmm. Jesus grew to become a teacher a leader of 12 disciples mm -hmm. who received power and authority to drive out demons and to cure diseases. Mm -hmm. Jesus performed diverse miracles from healing the sick mm -hmm. to raising the dead. Mm -hmm. He was truly God in the flesh. He was, not, he was without fault yet endured moments of mom, mental turmoil mm -hmm. when his life had to bear the weight of mankind's sin. Mm -hmm. That is when he went through the mental it called distress him. yeah jesus was the highest servant of god who faced mental suffering because of the crucifixion mm -hmm. he endured on the cross mm -hmm. and isaiah wrote about him in the book of isaiah 53 from verse 3 to 5 mm -hmm. and this is what isaiah said he was despised and rejected by mankind a man of suffering and familiar with pain surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering Yet, he, he, yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. Mm -hmm. Wow. The punishment that brought us peace was on him and his wounds. We are healed. Amen. You are healed by Amen. Jesus' wounds. Amen. You are healed of that depression yes. because Jesus was crucified. He shed his own blood mm. so that you will receive that healing. Mm -hmm. Jesus made his feelings of depression evident mm. when he went into the Garden of Gethsemane in the book of Matthew 26, 37 to 38. It records he became, he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said, my soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Jesus' mental struggles was further evident when mm -hmm. Luke shared his account of how Jesus sweated droplets of blood. So what did all these three people have in common? Yeah. That is David, Job, and Jesus. They still trusted and worshipped God. David sang praises to God in the book of 2 Samuel chapter 22 and Psalms 139. Yes. And Psalms is written by David and most of the Psalms is praise to God yes. even in his difficult moments. Mm -hmm. Jesus asked for God's will to be done and not his. That is in Mark 14, 36. And Job said, though he slay him, though he slay me, I will still trust. I will still trust you God. They all called on God for help mm -hmm. or in praise through their moments of pain and distress. Yeah. God was with them in every high and low. Yeah. He is the ever-present help in time of need. Mm -hmm. How do we deal with the mental health issues? Number one, let us pray and ask God for help. Read his word and dwell in his promises because his word never fails. God is not a man that he should lie. He is able to change every difficult situation if mm -hmm. we trust him. Oh, yes. Find strength in worship mm -hmm. or positive music that mm -hmm. speak positive into your life mm -hmm. or even playing an instrument mm -hmm. that you like mm -hmm. that will change the whole atmosphere of depression. Yes. Yes. Gratitude writing, maybe journaling, mm -hmm. write down, begin to write the things that you are grateful for. Yes. Journal good things, journal positive things in your life mm -hmm. and where or how you want to see your life manifesting. Yes. And that includes prophesying to your life, prophesying to yourself. Mm -hmm. Even though you, you are in depressed moment mm -hmm. or you are going through a difficult situation mm -hmm. right now, mm -hmm. how do you envision your future to be? Write those things, post them in the wall mm -hmm. and surely it shall come to pass. Mm -hmm. Mindfulness, a mindfulness meditation. Mm -hmm. 
being in present moment without judging like the way we are now in right. present moment yes. you know just yes. enjoy i'm really enjoying this moment mm -hmm. have proper sleep also most of, most of us we neglect the power of sleep sleep is very important mm -hmm. also clean and uh, make your environment safe mm -hmm. and uh, uncluttered mindful walking just walk out there enjoy the fresh air mm -hmm. it increases the awareness of your surrounding mm -hmm. another thing is uh, mindful eating we sit down fully present when eating and focus on all sensation of mm. eating with no TV, no phone mm. calls, I like that. or unnecessary distraction. Yes. Yeah, that's a, that's a challenge. But that's a, a very challenge, good one. but a yes. good practice. Yes, yeah, yes, I absolutely. practice that a lot. Yes. When I eat, mm -hmm. even if the phone answers, I'm like nothing is emergency. Yes. Because most of the time, this is the only moment we have to enjoy our food. Mm -hmm. We cannot even spare like ten minutes mm -hmm. just. To chew food no, properly, no. to smell it, and to enjoy the taste. Enjoy all you know? the sensations. Yes, like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. it's powerful, and the mm -hmm. body will and, appreciate and, it. And uh, there's a word, um, the word where you say you uh, not indulge, but I usually tell my husband that that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. You know, like you take your time. Exactly. Take your time because they tell me I eat slowly. Mm -hmm. So I tell them I'm 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 enjoying I'm yes. oh God that you're trying to take it's, everything to indulge you know yeah but it's that yeah. that's a word but mm -hmm. they don't come they don't it come before you get that so what we eat really matters avoid we should in our diet let's avoid added sugar from soft drinks yes. candies mm -hmm. because all these things increases inflammation right. Gluten is protein found in wheat, barley, rye, mm -hmm. and these are all common sources of um, uh, that bring distresses. Also, processed food, which have been modified from their natural state, mm -hmm. and they have artificial ingredients. Mm -hmm. They can create stress in our body, mm -hmm. and different diseases start manifesting, which will uh, bring um, mental turmoil to our health. Mm -hmm. So. We should eat healthy meal choices, mm -hmm. add spices like turmeric, ginger, mm -hmm. which are anti-inflammatory agents. Mm -hmm. We should include omega-3 fatty acids in our food, nuts mm -hmm. and seeds, avocado, mm -hmm. fish oil, seafood, and good supplementation. Mm -hmm. Green tea is mm -hmm. very good and relaxing. Chamomile mm -hmm. tea, they have healing properties. Mm -hmm and are antioxidants that help protect brain cells mm -hmm. from damage and improper cognitive function. Mm -hmm. And another thing, let us find support groups or friends who can talk yeah. and share. Mm -hmm. Find help through counseling mm -hmm. or medical intervention from professionals. Mm -hmm. Just remember, in whatever situation you are that has led you into a mental uh, disorder, you are not alone. There is also professional health care available 24-7 for, for, for those who are in this country. Mm -hmm. You can always call on 988. Yes. It's a national suicide prevention lifeline, yes. which is provided 24-7, mm -hmm. free and confidential, mm -hmm. to support people for who are, who are, are distressed. Yes. Yes. So as I end up, mm -hmm. I want to encourage you to look up to God because he is always near to the broken hearted. No matter how deep mm -hmm. the, the pit of despair you are in, God can lift you out because he is the only one who is able to walk you through the dark corridor of pain, mm -hmm. of shame, mm -hmm. of distress, of depression, of anxiety and help you bring, bring you back on a path towards hope, yes. healing. And recovery so true. dealing with mental health can be scary but if we have God he is able to bring us out of these dark moments mm -hmm. I will share from the book of Isaiah 43 from verse 1 to 3 and God is saying to you and me fear not for I have redeemed you I have called you by your name you are mine when you pass through the waters I will be with you and through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. 
Remember this promise. It is a promise from our God who never fails, who never lies. God bless you. Thank you for being with us in this moment. Amen. 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 And thank you so much for being with us since we started. And we God bless you abundantly. And in whatever that you're going through, joy comes in the morning. Amen. Have a good day. Good night. Bye-bye. Until the next video, this is Grace Ngere with my story. Thank you so much, uh, Miss Dora Manzala, for being with us throughout. Thank you. We bless you. We pray for you. Amen. And God has a lot waiting for you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.